Really good rhythm. He needs some help from Mackenzie Hughes today. Needs Hughes to knock off Taylor Montgomery, but Spieth is still alive. He did hit it over 400 yards at the par 5 12th. Mm. Colin, this is a new partnership that was just created a, a few weeks ago. Darren Reynolds now with Shane Lowry. Yeah, that was a, a long time companionship between the two, but obviously sometimes change is a good thing as we watch Lowry knock that to the center of the green. Conservative play, as you would expect. You want to try and come on in here with something that's going to bounce once and then stop. Sends it in super low. This is headed straight for the back and over it. Yeah, he caught it thin. Shane Larry actually split with his longtime caddy. Remember Bo Martin, who was so instrumental in the win at Portrush. Now got Darren Reynolds on the bag. So just looking for a little change. Here comes the third four speed. Not much room to land it up there. Mm -mm. Tried to get fancy with that one. Insert on your putter. Oh, and just yeah. Drag it up there. That's not where you want to be after you had 88 yards, but for your second. Well, believe it or not, that was actually his third. First one didn't get up onto the surface, rolled all the way back down to that point, and now he would be hitting his fourth. And there's the pickup of the coin there from Shane Lowry, and they will be making their way to the second, not the start that Spieth won. By the way, makes a lot of putts too. Excited to tell you more about him today. Lowry with a beautiful tee shot at the second, one up after Jordan's miscues. I was going to say, Billy, you only watched him. He's been up in the match. Yeah, a little bit of indecision with that yardage at the first. I can't help but maybe think that was in the back of his head a little bit. Caught it thin, lost the first hole, and that one should stay in the short grass. Turn down, turn down, keep going. I think it may have made its way back into the short stuff. Left pin location sits perched way up on top of that shelf. You've got to take it on. This one's hung out to the right a little bit. Looks good for weight though. Mm -hmm. Right at flag high. I tell you what, this guy is always up at the top in that category. Although this one is out to the right, looks heavy for weight too. Got to get down. It does. It's going to be a swinger from his right to left, and it will be pretty sporty. Shane stays one up as they go to the third. You tie the hole, and it looks like you were just a dead loser on the hole. Where's that one headed, Colin? Well, if you like long down the middle, that's exactly what Shane Larry just did. And he took it really deep here yesterday with driver. And this one out a more conservative line to the right-hand side. Nice soft bounce, and that'll be perfect. Off the tee box, he's been perfect. Front left pin location does have that slope to the left and beyond this flag stick that if he can get something to pitch on that, he could get it to come back pretty good. That's exactly where he's trying to hit it. Careful, careful. Okay. Lowry, just 108. Boy, he can get some action on the ball, too. Straight over the top of the flag stick. Yeah, I was always going to be interested to see how he came out today, whether he came out all guns blazing or sort of a, a ho hum, but he's a 
He's a gritty competitor. Swing it from right to left. Mm-hmm. Mm. Swing it from his left to right. And Shane Larry is definitely going to be that fly in the ointment today for Spieth. Good try, but Lowry's now two up going to the par three fourth. Well, the fourth official today is 186 yards. Does play down here just a couple. Not a breath of wind out here either. And this on a Ooh. very, very good line. Seen a couple right there that rolled back a few feet. 186. Chris I would Kirk. imagine this would be the perfect six iron for Jordan. Sky Chris high, the only one hanging out to the right a little bit. Will it get there. up on that top tier? It does, but it may not stay, Billy. Yeah, this will feel like it's got a little bit of Velcro on top of this one. Hard to get it there. <laughs> Walked after it, almost made it. Entering a good stretch of holes, no doubt, for Lowry. Mm. Wow. It hit it close to the hosel. This guy hadn't missed a shot yet, Colin. I was going to say, it's rock solid for Shane today. Different looking hole, though, with no wind down and off the right. And that one, I think it hopped over, did it? It did, and back into the fairway. Oh, the luck of the Irish. Be in the 350 range without that helping wind. I don't think he can get it there. It's all about getting it the right angles. This one That's lost right. right, though. There is a penalty area down there. And that looks to be safe. It is. Very lucky, very fortunate. A little bit of an upslope. Does have about seven or eight paces between the bunker and the flagstick, but I think he can also use the slope beyond the pin to sort of bring it back. Or oh, you can just on, do that to Jordan in. Spieth. Maybe a little right in this one for Shane. Hold it. Definitely not Craig and Shane looks like he's feeling real nice playing very loose is headed right down the middle. I mean John you said so uh, earlier uh, first of all it, it's competitive pride and these guys are great competitors. I've talked about the, the ferocity which which he competes but he, he, he found a little something. Short one he spent a, a, quite a number of putts on the putting green before making his way to the tee just to calm things down a bit and I tell you what if it gets a nice straight bounce I think that'll stay in the short grass too. Ooh. That second bounce was full of energy so two good ones. So I'd imagine this is no more than a four iron looking to sort of get something maybe a three iron into that front portion of the green and get it to kick around and that one's just going to run out of legs getting over that ridge. He takes this flag stick on a little bit. I think it would almost be the perfect club for him to do that. Well, he's set up for the big cut. Didn't cut. And the way he is setting up for this, he's going to try and fly it all the way there. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, this ain't done. This ain't done yet, Billy. Mm. And you can see where he is aiming. There's some 10, 15 feet left of this flag stick. And then just let it turn and trickle its way back to the flag. This isn't high enough either, is it? No, it's not high enough, but it is great for speed. It just looked a little out of sorts, even from the first hole. We saw that uncharacteristic over the back miss there for Spieth and then making the, the mistake here at six. And he'll have that for his par, but it may not be good enough if Larry can polish that off. Mm, that's the first. Actually, the first 
poor stroke he's made with the putter. Shane Lowry still has the tee at the par 3 seventh. He is three up. And he's looking for more. Wow. Speed with the raindrops falling. He likes it. Couple of good ones. Speed three down for birdie on seven. And it'll come left at the end a little, but not that much, Jordan. He's doing exactly what he's got to do, too. He's just sort of hitting the ball where it needs to be hit, getting looks where he needs to get looks. You buy, I'll fly. Well, this one on a low, flat flight up the left-hand side. It's going to need a big kick to the right, and I think it might have got it, Billy. It did. Back T location, back into a little bit of breeze now. That's picked up in the last five or six minutes. And this one for Spieth on a similar line to that of Lowry, maybe even just a fraction further right. Yeah, two good ones here, Colin. Get her up and maybe just chase it onto the front edge of the green. That's what he's looking to do. Super low. Has it got enough on it? That's not. Well, albeit just a little one here for Spieth. Oh this one Christ. is <laughs> no commentary needed on that one. That is miles right. It's up there near the car park. Oh, oh, out of the nice. It becomes so much more important the way that Jordan has got this thing way open. He's going upstairs with this one. And that's just that wet skid, Billy. Mm. Wet, soft conditions. Now we're getting that extra little skid. You're running out of holes to, to catch up. I don't know if he shuts you out on 15 or so. No. Club selection here, whether or not to take the driver. It looks like he's got driver. It's 299 to run out on that left side. And this one looks pretty good to me. This might get some extra real estate. It's, it's a big cover on that right side today. Couldn't tell. Well, I'm going to let you know right after I watch Spieth get rid of this one. And this one is a mile right. This is down. There is a penalty area down there. And four down in the match. That's not what he wants. Boy. Oh, it thinned it. Well, it just caught a tree branch as well. It's going to kick down there towards the front of the green. Okay. Well, the beauty of match play. Now, Lowry, he's playing speed. He's playing the man, especially with this lead. Albeit, this is going to be a quick one from the front right to this pin location. But he has a very delicate touch. Shane Lowry to win. And the, it goes five up. This match may not make it many more holes. And now speed. Also with three wood, this one on a better line. This should catch that little seam in the fairway and kick left. Yeah, 156 here for Shane. Does play down seven yards. And I tell you what, this is on a beautiful line if it's the right weight. Oh, beautiful struck shot. 
needed another yard, but still very solid indeed. And this is one penny has to take on at this point in the match. Five down. Good line if it's up. Oh, what a shot. Wow. And Spieth looking for his first birdie of the day. Spieth knew what he had to do today, but this man, boy, oh boy, he has played very nicely. Uphill coming from his right. Yeah. A little bit of hope, maybe some small amount of momentum heading to the 11th. Today, 164 does play down six, so 158 Go. off the up tee. Gotta Go. get up, gotta get up. Oh boy, off the rocks. Oh no. Jordan Spieth calling on the tee. Well, I think after that, the decision is made. Long and left is the play. And that's where it's headed. <laughs> well, if you mean long and left by absolute laser, pretty much straight at it. Yeah, from that big white circle. It's never fun being there. Does have room behind it if he wants to zip it back, give some of these guys something to look for, but that's not going to catch the ridge. Rain shower that came through and softened things up. And also, too, not the wind that we've had the first couple of days. And this one for Jordan Speed starts down the center right, drifting dangerously. To Now Shane Lowry. Well, this one on a similar line, maybe even just a touch further right of the ball of Spieth heading down towards those pot bunkers. And Lowry. Yeah, 235. And after that, this will be a bit more of a conservative play out to the right with just an iron. And he managed to find the short grass. That has got to be advantage Lowry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a big boy. His father played for the All Blacks. I mean, his grandfather played for the All Blacks. Shane Lowry with his approach, Colin. Yeah, 76 yards. And that one will be an uphiller. Keep the pressure on Spieth. That's what he's done. He's taken it way upstairs. And it's just going to catch that ridge, boy. Oh, boy, James. Well, he's had plenty of time to look at it. Should be just a straight uphill, just a whisker from right to left. Oh, he hasn't hit oh. it. Oh, you can see the frustration. He knew that would have been a dagger if he made that. Huge putt here, not only to get it to three down, but to see one go in. And there he goes. Behind him, he has got to get all of this one, James Nitties. Tell you what, high, out to the right edge of the green. It looks like enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you've got to expect Speed's going to make it a birdie, so you've got to figure out a way to do it. I think probably with driver or three woods, the right play here. This high and right working towards the crowd. Lowry is. Lost his way a little bit the last few holes and lost that tee shot. We'll look again, different angle here. Yeah, it's muddy over there, but he's still going to play that very low and off your back. Oh, so he's oh, trying oh, to oh, swing oh. the hook. Oh, oh, great. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> great camera work there to follow that guy forward. He's trying to sling hook it, but halfway on the downswing, you know, don't over. Find a place where you want to land it and then have it released to the hole. Yeah, to Andre's point, it was a very defensive shot. Now speed. Yeah, he's got to be careful with this one. The only place he can't go is long. That's got to slow down a little. Yeah. And it does. What a touch, James. 43 feet, 2 inches for his birdie. Well, it was the professional miss off the tee. And with the second, now can he make a slippery rolling one? He tried. Oh. It's going to go outside the coin of Spieth, though. He'll be first to putt. Well, realistically, it's got to go. Oh! Don't say it. Oh. 
and he does it. Gets another one. Both these players wearing out the right side of the cup here at 13. Well, Spieth here at the 14th with all the momentum. Semi-blind tee shot, and that win now for the first time. Starting to pick up into and off the right a little bit. This one starts down the right-hand side. Should be pretty good with a nice bounce. Right back in the fight with Shane Lowry, two down with five to go. Yeah, just I bet he's thinking to himself, why did I rinse it there on the 11th? This one hanging out to the right-hand side. Ooh, more trouble at the 14th for the Irishman. He has lost that momentum since the 11th, that is for sure. Good contact. Nice line. It's carrying some heat, though. Ooh, what a shot. Stop pretty quickly. Downwind, nothing more than a gap wedge right here. Nice full swing just left of the hole. Mm. Oh, a little delayed juice. And... Yeah, and he's taken a lot of looks at this one, too. Real tricky read. confident too. This one starts out to the right hand side. And nice. Perfect. Eyeing it. Needs it to get down to stay in the so it stays in the fairway. Yeah, I think the, the, fairway the wind back in their face helped all week long. We've seen down one and the guys go through the fairway. So and a good angle. This pin all the way back in a shelf. Oh, he's ballooned this one into the wind. This is going to struggle to get the front edge. A little less off speed. Take some spin off it, but it's Jordan Spieth. And he likes the spin. Spieth and Lowry. Okay. He is a magician with that club, and he makes his four. He's left a couple of these short right in the heart. Going back up the hill, put some pace behind it. Oh, I think that was center cut too. This was. Um, well, I guess, I guess when you only have a few holes left, you got to make them putt everything. Yeah. Needs to just keep it going here at the 16th. Well, this out to the right hand side. It's going to need a good bounce. Beauty flies 311 way down there. And I've got to try and match it. And he unleashes on this one. This thing is absolutely blistered. It might even get that speed slide. Well, certainly one of the better drives on this second nine. And it's going to benefit as well. So very close together. This could be as little as four iron here. And like you said, Billy, he needs a good one. And I tell you what, this starts off at the heart of the green, just barely turning left. Perfect. Exactly what you guys were calling for. And now he has clawed his way back into this match. It's out to the right, trying to turn back, but it hasn't got the legs, has it? Look at this oh, shot from Jordan Spieth. One more left. This is so good. He knows he has to go directly at the flagstick. 
actually gets that ball pitched forward up the hill for Eagle at the 16th from 34 feet. Now did everything that he had to do, hit it to the center of the green. Little swinger from his left. Oh, hand out there, Billy. He thought it was going to snap a bit more. <laughs> Either of those two tournaments to see if this one goes down. Left the short again. This will be no more than just a sawn off little 9 iron here for Spieth. He'd like to finish this off in style. In fact, it might be the other one trying to draw it in. Oh, ho, ho. There is nothing to worry about with that golf swing right now. Put this match away with a birdie. Well, he sends this super high, but it's hanging out to the right a little bit. Good for weight, though. Shane Lowry to win the match against Jordan Spieth. And believe me, he wants this one. Well, that's the one part of the game that needs tuning up in the next few weeks. The rest looks great. Shane Lowry with the victory today against Jordan Spieth. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.